Hi, and welcome to this fourth episode of our all-time favorite topic, Android development. Okay, let's get started and let's make coding great once again. Step six, update the Firebase related code, making sure to save the castle data onto Firebase. Okay, let's now do the final part, which is let's take all of this data and let's save them into Firebase, okay? So, let's first of all make sure that Firebase is up and running. So let's go to Tools, Firebase, and here's the Firebase Assistant. Let's go to Real-Time Database. Let's click on the Get Started with Real-Time Database link and yahoo as you can see i am connected to the firebase and the dependencies are set up correctly right that is because this project the maps and the location project builds on our previous project which was about the uh, favorite movies so and during that project especially in particular in episode 3 we have shown how to connect successfully to Firebase and how to write and read data to and from Firebase. So if you'd like to know how to do that, please go back and watch those episode three videos. Okay, so now what we need to do, since we are connected, let's make sure that we have internet and everything. So I am connected to the internet, that's great. Okay, let's uncomment these lines of code. Okay, and let's have a new path. So let's copy Oman Force and Castles and let's paste them in here so that we have them as a new path in Firebase. And let's uncomment this line as well. Okay, and instead of write movie data to Firebase, let's change that into four. So write four data to Firebase. And obviously, let's direct that into here as well. And we might as well correct the read one as well because we will need them pretty soon. Okay, so now the writing method is up and ready. Let's just double check it. Okay, in here. Okay, so let's have some F statements in here. Okay, here we are. Let's make sure that this does have a closing tag. Okay, here we are. So here's what we have added just now. So we want to make sure that the, the fourth list is not null. Okay, if it is null, then we will get this toast message out. And we want to make sure that it doesn't have a zero object. So if it does have a zero object, that means no objects whatsoever, we will have this toast message out. Or this contains zero objects or no objects whatsoever. If it's not null and it does have some objects, then we will write the data into Firebase. Okay, and just before we run this app, let's go over to Firebase and let's make sure that we do have some objects in here so currently we have a list of movie objects remember these from the previous episode okay so hopefully uh, once we run this app we will get a message that says for data to save successfully and hopefully we will be able to see the data onto firebase in real time okay so let's run our app okay, let's wait for it right here we are okay and for data saved successfully Fantastic. Let's go over to Firebase. Let's check that. And Yahoo! Yes, we do have some objects in here. Look, Jalali Castle, blah, blah, blah. And the second one is Almirani Castle, and so on and so forth. Okay, great. Let's now read the data from Firebase. Okay, so we don't need this method anymore. So we're going to comment it out. And we don't need to write any data anymore. Indeed, we just want to read data from Firebase. And okay, that's why we will activate this method again. And here we are. Is the code which we wrote back in episode three when we talked about Firebase. So let's now run our app. Obviously, if we don't have Firebase connection or if there are any problems with the Firebase database, we will see nothing on the emulator screen. So let's run our app. Great, fantastic, and everything works just fine as you can see in here right okay and finally let's just have a quick test of our real-time database as well right okay so how about al jalali fort okay how about if i go and change the area of al jalali from 1586 1586 to 8 to 15 
87. Let's see if that changes in real time. Yes, it does. Look at that. Can you see that? Yeah. Let's have it back to the correct year, which is 1586. Click enter on that, and notice that it changes there immediately. Fantastic. So that works. Finally, we've already enabled the local caching, which means the data will now be locally cached on our device. So that means we don't need any internet connection. The data will now, will next be read from our local cache. So let's stop our Wi-Fi connection. Let's do that. So we're going to stop this. Okay. So no Wi-Fi. All right. Let's now test if our app still works. Okay. It's running. And great. See, it still works. And the data now is being read from our local cache. Great. That's it. Fantastic. And finally, let's get out there and let's make coding great once again. Thank you and happy coding. <laughs>